what is going on Pisces it is Scorpion Red Tarot back at it again for the month of February checking in with you and say what's up and to see what type of energies we got surrounding us for the month of uh, February uh, sorry you guys for the late upload as you know um, I was battling the flu with my kids so you know um, I do appreciate all of the love and the light and the positivity and the well wishes for me and my family. Shout out to everybody that, um, you know, sent that love and light. I appreciated that so, 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 so very much. It was, trust me, motivation to help me get back at it to be here with you guys today. Um, thank you guys so much for all of the page donations and the private bookings. Like I said, we have seven new decks here and I also am recording on a camcorder this time so thank you guys so much for the support I greatly greatly appreciate it more than you ever know thank you so much and if you would like to book a personal and private reading you can do so by clicking that about tab on my YouTube page there's a hyperlink that says Scorpion Reds Tarot as simply book me again that is Scorpion Reds Tarot as simply book me and if you would like to give a love donation if this these videos resonate with you there there is a link for my PayPal in the description okay so let's get into this reading for the sign of Pisces okay father God thank you so much for bringing us here today to share love and light for the sign of Pisces Pisces has gone through such a major transition from 2018 to now I feel like the sign of Pisces has learned a lot and it's taken progressive steps towards this new beginning. And um, we just thank you so much for all of the strength and the determination and the willpower that um, has been given to us and all of the guidance. Because Lord knows, you know, we don't know where we would be if we didn't have you by our side. And we just thank you so much for allowing us rest and allowing us reflection during this time father god please give the sign of pisces guidance for february thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past present and in the future thank you so much again uh to you father god to all of our ancestors that watch over us to the universe for moving things out of our path that you know we didn't have the strength to uh, move and thank you so much to um, all of our spiritual guides. Thank you so much again. Please give us guidance for the sign of Pisces for February 2019. And thank you again for all of the messages in the past, present, and future. Please give us guidance for the sign of Pisces. All right. Let's get into it, Pisces, baby. Let's get it popping. All right. So... What I'm feeling right now, hmm. I honestly just feel like Pisces has really been in a state of just reflection right now. I'm um, just really looking back at a lot of things, and it is it's no choice but to move forward in a new beginning for Pisces. And I just feel like you know, it's no more delaying it, it's just they're just ready and they just got to do what they got to do, they got to do what they got to do. This is the will of fortune in the reverse here. All right. Pisces just feels like, you know, I'm just tired of just being down on my luck. And just everything that I feel like I'm putting my energy in is just going astray. It's not staying in line with me. And I'm just really tired of the struggle of this, you know, up and down, topsy-turvy type of energy in my life. Like, I'm just ready for this chapter to close. And, um... It's really just time for it to close. I feel like Pisces feels a little bit unbalanced right now. Feels a little bit unbalanced. And they realize that it's just certain things in their life that it really doesn't hold any value. And it's not worth holding on to anymore and delaying the process of this wheel turning around in their favor. It's just like, listen, I'm tired. I really, really am tired. And I'm just... It's not even worth it anymore. Just certain things, I just feel like I don't even hold any value anymore. And it's not worth it anymore because at the end of the day, this ship is going to leave without me. Either I'm going to stay here and I'm going to keep juggling this bullshit or I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get on the ship and I'm going to go forth to my new beginnings. 
I don't have time for this shit anymore. I legitimately don't. And I just feel like it's certain elements that they have legitimately been holding on trying to play this fucking balance game. And it's just like, you know what, now I'm just done. Fuck it. I'm just cutting this. I just like, I'm, 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 I am fucking done. I'm done. And I feel like Pisces feels like it's your fault. It's because of you is the reason why everything is fucked up in my life right now. I feel like that is the way that Pisces is feeling. I honestly don't. I, and, and be careful of that, Pisces, because I don't want you to, like, deflect and don't take any responsibility for what's going on. I just feel like you are just mentally at your wit's end right now. And right now you're at a place where you're just like spazzing on motherfuckers. And you're just like legitimately cutting people out of your life that don't hold any substance there. Because you, you see that butterfly there. You know that that new beginning is there. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, oh, what a pretty butterfly. You know, <laughs> it's just like I done cut all this bullshit out of my life and now you're sitting on your throne mentally clear exactly about what you want in your life and just all of a sudden here comes this butterfly right there on top of your sword. And you like, shit, I'm glad I wiped my sword off. You know what I'm saying? All of that blood and that turmoil and that shit that I had to cut down before because it's just like you telling the motherfuckers off like, listen, I'm not dealing with this shit anymore. I am not. I'm tired of the misfortune. I'm tired of the struggle. I'm fucking tired. And I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be trapped in this energy anymore. This goddamn boat, I am getting on it. With or without you. So either you get your shit together. And you can come with me. Or I'm going to keep going. For my fact, I'm going to keep going. You're cut. You're done. You're done. You are done. The Queen of Swords is a loner. She's a person of morals. She's a person of, you know, substance and stability and knowing truth. People come to her for guidance. You understand? And it's just like, I, 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 I refuse to give my energy to certain things anymore that I'd rather be by myself. I'd rather be by myself. And it's just like, this person... It's realizing that these things from the past really hurt me. You know, these things from the past really hurt me. And I feel like you're nursing your wounds right now from having to cut off certain energies from the past that you were holding on to for dear life. And it's three cups being spilled here and two of them had wine in it and one of them had water. And I feel like this person that is floating, do you see this person floating by in the river in the back? That this, that this person who's mourning, that these dark clouds are looming over, they're not paying any attention to this person floating off because it's just like you spilled water for wine. You understand what I'm saying? It's like you allow something that wasn't even built of our of our same caliber come in and destroy you spill water for wine <laughs> for somebody you know it's just like and it hurts and it hurts but at the same time this Pisces is mentally clear and knows that they don't want that no more and if they see new growth and they see new development and they see new beginning and they're okay with that. And with that, they are mentally clear and they are fine and knowing that they will be the fuck okay. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah, I, I, I do look back at the past sometimes and it hurts. And that is what is honestly is helping P Pisces close this, this chapter of this misfortune in their life because it's just they don't want to fucking hurt no more. And they're tired of, uh, of feeling like they're juggling they're juggling something that don't even really hold no value anymore. Spirit, please give the sign of Pisces guidance and love. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please give the sign of Pisces guidance and love.
month of February. Thank you so much. This is the Mystic Moon um, Oracle Love Set. Ooh. Yeah, there was a lot of deception going on. It was a very... There was a lot of cheating going on here. And people wearing a false mask. And just really just not being moved in that energy. And I feel like this person like really held on to this deceptive behavior. And like lied. Lied. And, and, and just fucking lied. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like this person. Listen. This person put Pisces in a, in, in a situation where, and you know what, this this is, I really don't read stuff and read these cards in reversal, but this is the bound card, you know, this is that devil card, you know, this person continue, 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 continue this deceptive behavior with Pisces. And because of the history with this person, this person felt trapped and bound to this relationship where they almost felt like they couldn't breathe and they couldn't let go. They knew it was something that was suffocating them. But at the same time, they were having such a hard fucking time of releasing this energy. And when these cards came out, this was in reverse. So I am taking that for me to say that Pisces has most definitely recognized that this is deception here. And that they are no longer being trapped and bound and being prison to this energy anymore. They, like I said, they are releasing that burden. And they finally came to the realization that this motherfucker has brought me nothing but fucking misfortune throughout this whole relationship. Yes, it felt good in the beginning, but I'm fucking tired. I've seen the signs now. Yes, this card did come out in the reverse. It did come out in the reverse. And it's basically stating that Pisces was not seeing the signs. They are fucking woke like shit. They see the sign now. The sun has goddamn shined. Okay? It has risen and it has awoken something in them this is toxic as fuck like i am not going to say i don't subscribe to this shit no more i'm not subscribing to a relationship built on fucking deception you're not causing me nothing but fucking misfortune and you think my ship is about to sail waiting on you to change are you got to be fucking kidding me. You have got to be fucking kidding me. Let me show you something different than what the fuck I've been showing you. Let me show you different. I will slay you right there where you stay. If you think that I'm going to allow you to go a fucking step further with this bullshit. <laughs> please. Please. Guess what? This ain't 2000 goddamn 18, bitch. This ain't 2018. I done told you. 2018 was the motherfucking wake up. It was the awakening. 2000 goddamn. 2019 is the year of the divine feminine. Do you understand what I'm saying? These women are, are, are woke. Big time. Big time. So I'm definitely going to tell you. If this is a Pisces man. That has been given. A woman. You know what I'm saying. The cross watcher, this energy. She's woke. Like she's woke and she's not dealing with your bullshit. She's not. She's seen the signs. She's seen the signs, Pisces. She said, I'm not gonna allow you to. I'm 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 better on my own. I'm better on my own. I'd rather be by myself and be able to look back at spilled milk and more to give me strength to go forward because at the end of the day I rather I rather a brand new start I'm looking for a fresh start cuz this is bullshit like this is bullshit on top of bullshit on top of bullshit and I'm not having none of it I promise you I'm not having none of it I'm just, I'm not. I am not. I am not. And, like, I'm, I, I want to, like, 
go deep a little bit and like delve into the shadows a little bit and just to see like what what was going on in the darkness just to you know what is please give the sign of uh pisces guidance in in regards to the shadow energy for the month of february because they want this fresh start what is it that they would need to release and what is it that they need to let go and acknowledge so that they can have this fresh start? What is this? It's a warning. What warning? Embarrassment. Whoa, it's a warning of embarrassment. And someone is fixated. Mm. and disillusion this is what I'm getting Pisces honestly I'm telling you exactly what popped into my stomach what grabbed me I feel like this is a warning sign if any of you guys are still dealing with Pisces okay if y'all are dealing with a Pisces male and this Pisces male is not mature and it's been putting you through a lot of you know, drama and things like this. And this is you and you feel like cross watcher. The Pisces male has done nothing but put you through a whole bunch of misfortune. And this the Pisces male has been deceptive and you're seeing the signs and you're cutting Pisces out because you're looking for a new beginning. I'm here to let you know that this is a warning, okay? You better go now because if you continue to linger in this situation, there is going to be a level of embarrassment. I feel like there's going to be some type of online exposure. There's going to be some type of online exposure. Something where it's like all all can see. And it's embarrassing. And it's somebody who is fixed. It's going to be by somebody who is fixated and delusioned. And in a delusional state about this relationship and this situation that they got going on with Pisces. So I feel like. This is most definitely a third party in energy here. This is somebody that is on the outside that is fixated on your partner in this situation. And that has something to do with this deception. This person is fixated on your partner. And I and I most definitely I, I this is a warning. This is a warning. There is going to be an embarrassing, it's going to be an exposure. Someone is going to get exposed. This is a one, this is a one-sided situation. This is a situation where the relationship is one-sided and this person is being very foolish and their relationship is stagnant with Pisces. All right. And they're feeling a level of emptiness and they're invading. Like I said, this person has been watching online. OK, trying to figure out where Pisces is when Pisces is not with them. OK, and this person is vengeful. This person is vengeful and I feel like this person wants payback and I feel like y'all need to wait and ruthless. Ruthless. This is a warning. You guys, listen to me. Something told me to dig deeper. Something told me to dig deeper, okay? Okay? Or Pisces male, if this is you in this energy and you are like deciding like you want to walk away from a situation with someone because... Your ship is about to sail without you and you can't continue to hold on to this relationship. And this is a relationship where you felt you were bound to it. And now you're seeing the signs of wanting new beginnings because you feel like there's deception there. There is a warning for you. If you continue to linger and hold on to the situation with this woman, you are going to be in a place of embarrassment. Because it's someone that they're that this person is fucking with that is fixated and delusional and in a delusional state about their relationship. And they think that 
this girl is going to leave them is going to leave Pisces for them but this girl had no intentions of leaving Pisces for them this was just somebody that was something to do during the time that this person was mad at you because y'all are going through some bullshit right now it, it was a one-sided situation and this person doesn't see it as that and this is a very foolish person this is a very foolish person and this person does not like the seclusion and the stagnation that is going on in the state affairs with them and they feel empty they feel empty and this person has been fixated and watching and invading do you hear what I'm saying like this is like yeah like this person is feeling vengeful and ruthless because it's like they feel played with. They feel played with. And they thought that they were going to get this girl to leave Pisces to be with them. And it's just, it wasn't happening. It wasn't happening. And I feel like this person is, it's, it's like ruthless on some get back ass shit. But I don't feel like it's on the level depicted really on these cards you understand what i'm saying i feel like it's just going to be like some type of online shit like you know it's going to be like a whole bunch of drama that's going to be spilled out online for all to see and this is a warning mm -mm -mm. who knew this is real mm -mm. This is getting real nasty. Uh-uh, we're not reading two cards today. We're not doing this today. But come on, what is going on with all of these cards? No. Spirit, please give me one card. And then we about to get on. We about to skitty it on that. We about to slitty that. Up out of here. Because we're not about to be doing all of this tonight. We shall not. We shan't. All right, boom. The dress of alchemy, girl. Release your power. Release your power, girl. It is your world, girl. You need to relinquish and release your power, okay? Do you hear me? Because listen, I feel like it's a whole bunch of debauchery and a whole bunch of tomfoolery going on right here. And I feel like, listen, Pisces, you just like, listen, I feel you. You don't want this misfortune no more. You don't want this drama. And I damn sure don't want nobody coming out and trying to motherfucking embarrass me. Because you know how motherfucking vengeful ass bitches is or a vengeful, spiteful man because, you know, especially a man with a bruised ego. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because they just knew that their dick was going to be all of this and this and that and that they was going to take this woman and... The fact that this woman is just like not trying to leave is just like a shot to their goddamn ego. And it's like for real, for real, you already know that there's deception there. You already know and you feel it in your heart. And that's why you just felt like this whole relationship is doing it's nothing but misfortune. So that's why I'm trying to tell you. You're already clearing your mind about that. It's just you just gotta cut the shit out if you haven't already. If you haven't already. And I feel like some of y'all have done it already. Y'all are just like. Cleaning up loose ends here. Because there's still like some level of you. Just feeling bound to the situation here. And the more and more you hold on. And the more and more you keep yourself. Bound to this energy. Dealing with this person in this situation. In any shape or form. You are putting yourself an inch close. To this warning. To this thing that I am warning you about. So you can avoid this shit. Every day that you keep continuing to uh, deal with this situation. I am telling you, honey. Boo. Deception. Warning. Embarrassment. Girl. What more do you need to see, honey bunchkins of oats? Honey bunchkins of oats. This person is feeling empty. They feel betrayed. They are envious. And they are looking. Watching. Girl. 
They are feeling vengeful and they are ruthless. If you do, girl, listen, it's your world. Girl, you know what I always say? Girl, love. It is your world. And they are fixated. Like I told you, they are watching and they are fixated on this shit, honey. This ain't funny. This ain't cool. And this was not allowed in school, bitch. This was not allowed in school. You better watch the signs, bitch. And you better go on to this new beginning, to this fresh start. And mind your business and let this idiot deal with this motherfucking food that they got cooking up over here on the side. This delusional bitch that's fixated on who, whoever this is. Whoever this is that you are cutting off and to listen. Shit, splash morning. Eh eh. I be cooking cuckoo in the car. Uh, eh eh. <laughs> Look, y'all. I don't know who you been fucking with, but they been cooking up cuckoo in the, in, in the crock pot. Whoever they been fucking, fucking with, they been, they cuckooed in the bitch. Cuckooed in the goddamn bitch. I don't even know how the fuck these cars was laid, was laid out here. I don't even know how this shit was. Listen. Yes. I don't even know how this shit was laid out. Only thing I'm about to tell you is you need to avoid this fucking splash warning. Splash warning. It is. Okay? <laughs> Where is future when you need him? Splash warning. It is. Okay, let's read about this dress of alchemy. Okay? Let's figure out what mama talking about. Let's figure out what mama talking about. Okay, bitch, listen. Linda, you have a powerful energy with this beautiful, when this beautiful being shows up in your reading. You are strong, powerful, and a vibrant energy that changes lives. And with that comes great responsibility. Some people may be eroding their own energy fields with blame, discontent, and choosing the same destructive patterns over and over and over again. When this being walks in, the show is, um, when this being walks in, she shows that it is possible to change deeply and truly and become clear, bright, strong, healthy, and very powerful in terms of your energy. She understands the responsibility and has worked consistently with great discipline and earnestness to be able to be created. Same destructive patterns. Feel like just going through the same cycles over and over and over again. Her eyes and her wings. Oh, I ain't look. Her eyes and her wings make it impossible to hide from the truth of who you are. She speaks. It is time for you to celebrate who you truly are at this time. Okay? Ooh. It is time. For you to celebrate who you truly are at this time. To acknowledge you have energetic debris that need to be clear. And when it's and when you do this, the gold of who you are will shine through, just like the alchemy symbol shining from my dress. It is no longer possible in this new energy to hide who you are. You must take the time to be truly you. There is no cloak to hide within as you can see this dress i wear reveals all my magics and all my secrets the secret and the wisdoms of the ages are being revealed now more than ever before when you have cleared your energy field of guilt fear jealousy and envy you will be able to shine brightly too please take time to clear your own sacred energy fields of jealousy envy fear and guilt once you are clear, welcome in the bright, strong, powerfuls of healthy energy. After this has taken place, expect symbols and signs to pour in. Keep your energy strong, bright, and follow the signs. When your energy is strong and bright, when you come from a place of love, courage, and wisdom, you will attract the right signs. 
and will not be misled. Do not expect to have change after her arrival. Relationships and situations based on ego-centered concepts containing toxic energies will fall away naturally. You will now ask for your worth. This is not hubris or overweening pride. It's self-love in action. Do you understand? So it's time for you to literally change the setting and like use your own powers and use your own magic to work past whatever energies that you're dealing with right now. This energy is also telling me that it is somebody that is possibly you are the one uh, Pisces that might be the one that is getting cut out and on the receiving ends of this fixated energy. And it might be you that's being foolish. And it might be a sign for you that this is a one-sided situation. And if you don't release yourself from being stagnant and fixated on this energy, it invading on whoever this is um, that has been bringing you misfortune. And honestly, you need to cut this person out. But I still feel like at, at, at some point that... This situation needing to, this situation needing to end, and I feel like maybe someone came to terms with you and decided that they were dropping the pinnacle with you, and that they were moving on, and that their ships were selling, and and they are being the ones that stepping up and recognizing that this is a topic toxic situation, and that this this chapter needs to be closed. Okay. And maybe it's you that feel embarrassed by the situation and you're in a place of disillusion and you're fixated on this energy and, 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 and you're not releasing it. You're not letting it go. Do you see what I'm saying? Like you're not letting it go. If this is you, do you understand what I'm saying? What this energy is telling you that they are working with you to release this energy of this jealousy and, you know, any of this toxicity. Because it's time to rework yourself anew. And spirit can see when and how and how hard you're working towards this. To bring forth this new beginning in your life. And releasing this stagnation. You know. Because it's really truly time for this fresh start. It really is. So I know this has been a long video. And um, I'm about to just clarify miss dress of alchemy releasing your power because i did give you guys the shadow deck so and i'm glad that i did that because we needed to see that energy all right so this is the nine of wands so this is basically telling you it is it is time for you to release that barrier and step behind that barrier because it is other people in the world that are trying to meet you and really want to be engaged and be involved with you and it's like they can't get to know you on a different level if you got this barrier you know held up because you're tripping on certain shit from your past it's time for you to step from behind that barrier and you know trust some people not everyone is going to lead you into a dark path i don't think that this person means you any harm at all you understand what I'm saying? It is time for you to, like, you know, be a little bit more trusting. And, you know, if you got people willing to help you and that's trying to say, look, take my hand, I'll show you better. Like, it's not that as bad out here as you think it is. Everybody is not out to hurt you. And that's honestly what I'm getting here. Um, This is the Knight of Pentacles, okay? This is the Knight of Pentacles. And I feel like there is most definitely new beginnings and a solid um, advancement in life coming towards you. Most definitely um, solid advances in your career and your finances coming towards you. It's just taking a little bit of a minute because I feel like you honestly have to change your energy and realize and know that this that this chapter is closing and you need to really make the, the effort to really really close it and once you make the effort to close it like i said you know her um feathers her wings has has eyes and can see all they can know when you are really trying to change your energy and 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 
you can't this is the thing you can't try to sneak your way out of this out of changing and, and, and working on yourself and doing the things that is necessary for you to grow and get the results that you really want you can't try to sneak out of this before you know situations become awry you know you really do have to address certain things and if there's certain things that about yourself that you need to change or cut out then you might need to do that you might need to do that but at the end of the day you know nobody gets away with deceitful energy no one gets away with deceitful energy it always comes out into the light it always comes out into the light all right and this is the high priestess all right so everything comes out into the light and that is basically what this is saying everything comes out into the light you can try to sneak around and you know think that none of this shit is going to come out and that you're never going to be caught this is basically letting you know you will be caught all secrets are going to be revealed everything will come out to the light don't think that the high priestess doesn't know everything you know, the high priestess knows everything. She's not going to always turn her back and act like, you know, she don't see what you're doing. She's well aware and she knows every goddamn thing that you're doing. At all times. At all times. And the only reason why she has not honestly turned around to address you. It's because she's trying to give you the keys so that you can fix certain things yourself. She's trying to give you a chance to fix certain things yourself because this is an active high priestess. Do you understand? But she's trying to give you the keys to handle your business yourself before she turn her ass around and deal with you. Just straight like that. The high priestess knows all. The high priestess knows all. And it's like at the end of the day, you can sit here and be fulfilled by treachery and being deceitful and feeling like you're getting away with something. Yeah, you can be emotionally fulfilled and be all smug and shit if you want to. But at the end of the day, know that everyone has to answer for what you put out and what you put out is what you want to get back so even though this will of fortune this will of fortune is in the sunlight it's basically showing you everything that you put out will come to light and that sphinx you see how she has her paws on that will of fortune from turning she's making it stop to address your demons. And, need, and that's basically what these are on the side here. Alright? I forget which one means what or what. But these are this is basically the Sphinx stopping the wheel to address the demons. Do you understand what I'm saying? So in order for your progress and the things to move forward, you're going to have to address. You're going to have to address this. Yeah, you were emotionally fulfilled, but were you emotionally fulfilled by doing something that you would you you thought you were getting away with by holding secrets that you thought wasn't ever going to come to light that you thought that someone was always going to keep their back turned to, you know? Were you trying to get away with something? Pisces, do you hear me? That's why new developments and new beginnings and these financial blessings for you are slow to come because it's just like you have to come out from behind that bearer and be ready to address certain things and to be able to work on certain things and understand that everybody ain't going to hurt you and honestly addressing certain things that just need to come out to the light it just make the situation better. Holding back and trying to get away and, and, and avoid, avoid secrets addressing certain things and then you wondering why your blessings are slow to come 
and why you got to keep this barrier up that's why you got to keep that barrier up because you 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 you're not really you know letting certain shit come to the light that need to come to the light do you see what i'm saying can y'all see that that is someone stealing and trying to avoid getting caught in a situation you can't avoid getting caught do you understand So you guys, this has been your reading. This has been your reading, okay? You want this wheel of fortune to change and you really want this fresh new start, you got to address certain things and you got to cut out certain things. So I hope that this wasn't confusing because there, there was a few different goddamn energies here. It was like three different energies here. It was someone who's realizing... This is a misfortunate situation and I'm releasing, I'm releasing this. It has no value. I'm cutting this out regardless people like it or not. And I'm being single because I know that there's new beginnings there for me. And it just hurts looking back at the past. You know, that's one situation because they know that this misfortune came into their life because this whole relationship was based on a, decept a, a deceptive energy. And it's been keeping you trapped and it's been keeping you bound. And you finally realize that and see the signs. And you ready for this fresh new start. And then you have the people that, you know, you have the people who are the Pisces who has started this drama and they're they're dealing with someone on the side and this is a warning for them that this person is going to embarrass you and that they're fixated on 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 their relationship with you and they're not really trying to let it go and you know that this this can definitely turn ugly and then you have the other Pisces that this is you because someone cut you out. You are in this vengeful energy where you're being fixated and you're being bound to this situation because you keep looking back at the past. And you're to the point where you're so angry that you are ruthless. And you need to wake up. And you need to release this energy. So these are three different type of energy. So figure out where you fit in. And most definitely make the change. Because there is new beginnings. And there's brand new fresh starts there. You just got to decide which side of the boat you fit in. Alright. So peace you guys. Love and light. I will see you guys in the mid-month again. Sorry for the late upload. I love you, baby. Peace.